What's poppin' T Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All T All Shay Real Housewives of Miami Season 5, Episode 13 Review. If you all can hear my voice, I have a cold. Uh, hopefully, it's not COVID. But I'm not feeling well, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. So if any other videos aren't up, you know why, because I'm not feeling good. So. Keep me in your prayers, y'all. But I'm just going to go off the top of my head with this one. But I watched the Real Housewives of Miami episode. And, child, it was making my head hurt. Because it was just nonstop arguing the whole time. So when Marisol arrived, Adriana let her know how she'd been feeling. That, you know, they had been excluding her and hadn't been checking up on her. And when she went through her divorce, they never reached out to her. And Marisol admitted that she knew she was going through a divorce, but she just didn't reach out. Like, her and Alexia are just horrible. They're really horrible people. I don't like them at all. This season, we really got to see their true colors. I didn't like Marisol last season. But this season, her and Alexia are just insufferable. Like, insufferable people. Like, if y'all ever really cared about this girl, if y'all was ever really her friend, why wouldn't you reach out to her if you knew she was going through a divorce? Like, it's nothing but a phone call. And the fact that they couldn't do that says a lot about them and that they never really viewed her as a friend for real, for real, for real. I want Leah Black to come back next season. Bring Leah back, child. But anywho... Um, they were just acting like mean girls and like they could really care less. And Adriana's feelings were obviously very hurt by this. Mine would be too. Cause they honestly just did not care, especially Marisol. And I think with her acting just so nonchalant about it, Adriana then brought up the fact that one of Marisol's exes tried to take her out. And she was like, you know, if I wasn't, your friend, you know, I would have went out with him, but you know, I respected you too much to do that. And he told me he never loved you and this, this, that, and the third. Now, was that me? Yeah. But do I care? No, because once again, Marisol is a biatch. <laughs> she just simply is. And so I don't really care if her feelings got hurt because she don't care about nobody else's feelings on this show. She always starting stuff. She's a drunk. She doesn't eat. She's made that abundantly clear that she will choose liquor over food any day. That's why she's so frail. Like, it's something wrong with that lady. And, um, you know... The look on her face said it all. It hurt. It stung when Adriana pointed that out or whatever. But I didn't really honestly care because they have been mean girls this whole entire season and even last season. And I don't like it. Other than that, everybody was just raving about Liza's botched body child and her booty and everything. And I'm like, girl, lost the body. All right, child. It's all right. I've seen better. Her pale body looking like chicken cutlets and then them braids, child, just ain't going to bother me at all. Like, the cultural appropriation was so real. So, um, they end up having dinner um, and the stones come up and Marisol says she threw hers away. She didn't want to have anything to do with it because she's been feeling like somebody put a root or something on her. And you know, Julia was getting with her and I was like, yes, Julia. Yes, Julia. Read the girls. She told Alexia, you, you sitting up here looking at me with that barracuda face. <laughs> Alexia barracuda. What is a barracuda? <laughs> And then Lisa and them ignorant self go look it up and was on the other side of the table cracking up laughing because she do look like a barracuda. Child, all that plastic surgery she done did to her face. I told y'all she looked just like the uh, blonde version of Teresa. She is the blonde version of Teresa. They got the same face. Just imagine Alexia with brown hair. 
that is Teresa's twin. But anywho, Julia was giving it to the girls and was not backing down. And I loved every bit of it. They end up doing this like rage and release thing with this black lady and screaming and hollering on the beach. And Kiki was all into it, child. Kiki needed to release some stuff in her spirit because she said that she's still reeling from the fact that, you know, her husband, ex-husband or whatever cheated on her. And then this lady end up peeing on the beach. <laughs> I'm like, Kiki, why are you out here peeing out in the open on the beach? Like you just couldn't have walked back inside the building and went to the bathroom? Was it that far of a walk? What is going on, Jesus? But Kiki had me cracking up this episode because she was giving a lot of funny one-liners. Kiki is really, really funny. She really honestly is. She is the comic relief of this crew. Um, So when they're out there on the beach screaming and hollering to the moon and stuff, Kiki and them was fooling around playing and end up bumping into adriana and adriana then went into telenovela mode talking about some oh my god they broke my foot it's fractured it's fractured oh my god girl wasn't nothing wrong with that lady foot they barely even touched her when they played it back slow mo i don't even think they even touched her like she was capping like she was so capping in that moment just trying to get sympathy and starving for attention i couldn't take adriana seriously i honestly could not and everybody was looking at her like girl ain't nothing wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you at all even nicole the doctor was like girl you're fine so she got people carrying her back to the room and stuff the next day she in a wheelchair ain't nothing wrong with her foot it ain't swole nothing she talking about some is bruised girl wasn't no bruised because if it was bruised you would have took it off and showed everybody so julia and her head to the room and they overheard the girls talking about them and about the fact that um you know her i think they was talking about her foot or something like that and so they was looking like, huh, I told you they'd be talking about us. And so they end up going to this private island. And then that's when everything went left because um, Adriana decided to use an analogy of her foot being almost fractured and broken into a million pieces. <laughs> when that wasn't the case at all and she was like it's just like what happened to frankie and alexia lost her mind like literally lost her mind and i don't blame her and in this situation with adriana it's one of those situations where you can be so right so right and then with one false move be so wrong because I understood where Adriana was coming from this entire episode with feeling like um, Alexia and Marisol didn't care about her, uh, excludes her, and doesn't involve her and doesn't really treat her like a really true friend. Like I was there with her 100%, 100%. But with that one statement, that's when any like stance she had, washed away washed away um because she shouldn't have brought that up because it's two totally different things two totally different things a you messing up your foot spraining your foot ain't doesn't even remotely compare to what happened to frankie and at the end of the day ain't nothing wrong with your foot so that was a horrible comparison to make um i don't honestly feel sorry though for alexia because she's horrible She's been horrible all season long to everyone in this cast except for Marisol and Larsa because them her homegirls. But if you look back at this season, she's gotten into it with everybody except for, no, she hasn't gotten into it with um, Lisa, but she's gotten into it with Adriana. She's gotten into it with Julia. She's gotten into it with Nicole. She's gotten into it with Gertie. All the new girls she's gotten into it with. And I don't think that that's fair. I really honestly don't. Well, Adriana isn't a new girl, but uh, I think that she's going to use this to play victim, of course, because now the ball is back in her court and she can play victim because how dare you bring up my son, my disabled son, and compare it to somebody stepping on your foot, girl. And 
like I said, this is a situation where you can be so right and then instantly become so wrong. And looks like next week we'll get the continuation with Alexia going off on her and losing her crap, <laughs> losing her mind, and everybody just sitting there shocked, like, oh my God. So it was a it was a good episode, but it was just so much arguing, so much arguing, so much arguing. Oh my goodness gracious. Overall, though, I'm going to give the episode a B plus. It was good for what it was. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the episode down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.